Step toward justice tonight for an innocent college student hit in the crossfire in downtown Minneapolis. University of St. Thomas senior Charlie Johnson was picking up an Uber when he was killed. And tonight, the man accused of firing the fatal shot is charged in connection to that case. And our Paul Bloom is live in Minneapolis for us. So, Paul, we're learning the suspect has prior charges that link back to a shooting just two years ago, just blocks from where this latest shooting happened. Kelsey and Amy, authorities report that the alleged gunman in this case is a well-known gang member who investigators quickly recognized from surveillance security camera footage from outside the Monarch nightclub. In that prior shooting, not even two years ago, just a couple blocks away outside a popular pizza joint, an innocent bystander, a woman, was injured. In this case, we're talking two dead, seven injured, so many lives shattered. Charlie was fully aware of his surroundings. It wasn't his fault at all. He was just in a situation that in the wrong time. Charlie Johnson's friends are still reeling from the heartbreaking loss of the 21 year old with the bright future. Gunned down after a night celebrating his college graduation at nearby Cowboy Jacks when he was struck in the back by an errant bullet on his way to catch an Uber. It's awful to hear that, you know, he was victim of such a violent crime when he was quite opposite. He never showed anything but love to all the people that he loved. Charges filed on Wednesday against the suspected gunman, Juan Carroll, who authorities report as a well known gang member, detail the terrifying moments. The bloodshed of the mass shooting captured on surveillance cameras on this First Avenue block early Saturday morning, just outside a busy Monarch nightclub at bar close. An initial physical confrontation between two groups spiraling into a running gunfight with rounds from Carroll's weapon. Killing two, including Johnson and a second shooter, Christopher Jones Jr., and injuring seven. Some of those victims struck or grazed in the butt, neck, face, and arm. Carroll is now charged with two counts of second degree murder and seven counts of attempted murder. I think that's also one of the hardest parts is I just keep imagining it and like going through my head, I, he didn't deserve that. Carroll's criminal record includes another shooting just a couple blocks away. Two years earlier, outside nearby Pizza Luce, the details similar. A confrontation between groups, Carol allegedly pulling out a gun, an innocent bystander struck and injured. Now, the 24 year old Carol is behind bars tonight at the Hennepin County Jail. His initial bail, a million dollars, his first court appearance on this mass shooting is tomorrow at 1 30. As for that Pizza Luce shooting, Amy Kelsey, he's scheduled to go to trial on that charge next month. We're live in Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.